What's up, everybody? This is Luke Patrick with the Android Apps Review. Dot com. Today we're slinging out yet another video review, this time taking a look at a delightful application called Dragon Runner Z, or uh, for those of you that are more inclined like me, Dragon Runner Z. Anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and jump into this. Um, if you can't tell right off the bat, this is uh, a close resemblance to Dragon Ball Z, or Dragon Ball Z, um, or even the original Dragon Ball uh, genre, so we're going to be looking at some of that. But before we get there, um, I'm going to say this is a running game, hence the runner, uh, I'm not sure if there's an equivalent canonical version, but uh, anyway, this is still quite a good arcade game, and we're going to go ahead and jump into it and show you how it works. All right, so simply, we're going to go in here and hit Start, and then we're going to hit OK, and then we're going to be going. Uh, as with all running games, this is pretty button mashy, and the buttons are very simple. You have the jump over here, and you can tap twice to double jump, and then the attack, which does a sort of uh, typical Dragon Ball attack. You can actually push away other people's attacks just by pushing the attack button. Um, and of course, double jump can be used to go higher, as in right here. I'm going to try to time that right. And I did not entirely, but that's okay. Oh, I missed one of those supers. I should have gotten that. That's okay. Uh, as you go along, earning experience points, eventually you will be able to level up your character. This means you can add new strengths, um, and generally speaking, it makes life uh, easier and you can go farther. So in this one sense, uh, it's a straight arcade game. You're going to have to go as far as you can with as little resource as possible, or as little resources as you are given. Um, without enduring too much damage, which I'm pretty bad at, I'm going to be honest. I'm not the best at this game, but I still have a lot of fun playing it. It is quite difficult. The levels basically stay the same. We haven't noticed too much variation in them. Um, but then again, that's not really a problem, especially with the experience points that you get here um, and what that totals up to, and that's, of course, level ups, which means uh, additional um, strength improvements and that sort of thing. So anyway, let's go back and play it again. You can take another and take another look at it. This is a free application in the Google Play Store, um, or as it's sometimes called the Android Play Store, which isn't quite correct. Anyway, Google Play Store is totally free, which means you can grab it now and play along at home if you so desire. I think I'm going to try to grab that super if I can remember to see it. And I'll show you what that looks like. On the subject of supers, which we can't actually call um, something else, I missed it again. Um, from the Dragon Ball, uh, I mean, okay, fine. Super Saiyan. You can't exactly go Super Saiyan with this game because it's not, of course, an actual Super Saiyan. Um, but we're about to do so, so this is what that looks like. You try to hit it exactly on par, and then you just spam the heck out of this hit button, which is pretty fun. You get a lot of points for doing it. I really enjoy it. Anyway, um, that, of course, Super Saiyan mode is not actually Super Saiyan because this is a not a canonical Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z game. Um, how does that make us feel? Well, honestly, we don't really care. I'm a big fan of the kind of uh, Hong Kong self-production of various electronics. That's something that I enjoy, um, and I don't have a problem with it. I don't know how the wires feel. Either way, despite the fact that this is not a certified Dragon Ball game, this looks really good. I mean, look at these graphics. The physics is spot on. Uh, this is exactly how we would expect them to, to behave. Everything is just pitch perfect, and the performance is not hampered by the fact that this is from an indie developer. It is a pretty small tie developer. If you notice, some of these things that are popping up, uh, popping up, especially when I get specials and things, uh, they're still in tie, so I don't exactly know what that means. Uh, like that, um, I'm assuming that's tie. I'm actually not 100% uh, sure. Uh, I don't know enough to know the difference. So anyway, either way, um, not entirely sure what's going on there. Doesn't make a whole lot of difference, honestly. I haven't really experienced anything. Um, haven't haven't really had any problems with it. I will say that. All in all, this is an extremely fun game. It looks phenomenal, uh, especially given the conditions, like we said. Um, it's not too repetitive, made more or made less so, excuse me, by the fact that uh, there are copious power-ups and uh, additional abilities that you can gain simply by playing the game in uh, the form of level-ups and such. It is pretty hard. Um, we enjoyed that a lot. Uh, the ads are fine. We wish there was a way to get rid of them. Um, but then again, it is free, so no complaints there. And you know, all in all, it's a great game. We really enjoyed Dragon Runner Z. And uh, if you're looking for a new arcade game, or specifically if you're a fan of the Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z uh, sort of uh, era, or the look of the show, or the show itself, this is definitely a good game to jump on. It's totally free, it's absolutely fun, and uh, it's just, it looks great. It's a phenomenal little title. So again, that's a 4 out of 5 that we're going to give Dragon Runner Z. Uh, we really did enjoy it, and... Um, we wish the developers well with it. It's a great little game. All right, again, it's a 4 out of 5 for Dragon Runner Z, and that's all I have to say about it. So I'm going to go ahead and sign out, but we'll see you guys later. All right.